Hi everyone, I hope you're okay. Today I am doing a kind of favourites video. I don't really do monthly favourites videos anymore. I kind of made the decision last year to just kind of stop it because I thought, to be honest, I'm finding favourites every single month when I don't really buy an awful lot of makeup and clothes for myself um, was actually quite difficult so I didn't want to always be like repetitive so I thought I would cut it and then do kind of occasional favourites here and there and I don't think I've done a favourites video this year yet so I thought why not kind of talk to you about some of my favourite products right now I have narrowed it down to six products I think um, because you know me, I like to chat and I thought to be honest if I spoke about every single product that I am loving right now we'd probably be here till 2017 which obviously I'm sure we've all got better things to be doing than watching like a year long video so first of all we're going to start off with a foundation and I'm not sure if I've spoken about this foundation before in a favourites video I definitely mentioned it in I think my everyday makeup routine and I've also mentioned it loads on my blog and it's the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Foundation. Now I bought this back in December when I was wanting something that was going to be quite long last and I felt like all of my uh, foundations weren't really lasting very long. I wanted something a bit more heavy duty but I also wanted something cheap because it was Christmas and um, this was in Superdrug. I think it was like it's like seven or eight pounds. It's one of the cheapest drugstore foundations I think you can get and it is amazing. I, this is my second tube and I've literally almost run out of it so I'm going to have to go buy another one which I'm definitely going to do. Yeah, it's amazing. The reason why I love it so much is because it is so long lasting. It literally lasts all day, all night. You can wear it um, in the rain and you'll be fine. You can wear it and you can cry and you'll be fine. Um, you could wear it and sweat and you'll be fine like it literally lasts all day. It's not full coverage It says it is but it's not. I think it's medium coverage because I still always need a concealer with it um, But it's good for keeping oil at bay. It's also just really really good for long lasting. So I'm obsessed with this I think it'd be a really good Foundation to use in the summer because you know when like the Sun kind of melts your face I don't think this would allow it to do it so yeah, as I mentioned, because I don't think the L'Oreal is completely full coverage, I like a full coverage concealer because my skin has been a little bit all over the place recently and I'm not going to lie to you, I am starting to get very, very fed up. Um, but hey, that's a story that none of us really need to go into right now. Um, but I have been using this Vichy Derma Blend and this is the Fluid Corrective Foundation. And I've been using this as a concealer because I feel for a foundation all over my face it would be way a bit too much. Um, it's very heavy, it's very full coverage, you have to put a little bit on, a little bit does go a long way but if you aren't careful it will go quite cakey. But it's amazing, it literally will cover up anything. I think it's about £15, £16 pound from Boots and Feel Unique and those kind of places so it's quite pricey but I think if you are looking for something incredibly high coverage then this is really really good. I've got the shade 25 and I've also got the shade 15 as well and I tend to use 25 when I'm tanned. 15 when I'm pale and yeah it's just really good very long lasting it works very well with the L'Oreal foundation and yeah it kind of just covers up everything so I'm a big big fan of this. So next up is a highlighter and I bought this back in August in New York and it's the Becca Champagne Pop and this is the Shimmering Skin Perfector Highlighter. It is the highlighter that Jacqueline Hill who is a YouTuber um, created and last August September everyone kind of just lost their minds for it. It was like people were ordering it from Sephora so I was kind of glad that I had a New York trip book so I could literally just go and get this quite easily and I have literally just worn it every single day since I bought it. I've hit pan which is very very sad but it's amazing. It's so highlightery which is just totally a weird thing to say but it literally like just makes you look gives you like a really nice glow it gives you a really nice sheen it lasts for quite a long time and um, my little tip is to kind of wet your highlighter brush and then pop it in the highlighter and it kind of just shows up so much more it's amazing so that is my little tip if you're kind of wondering how to get your highlighter a little more kind of prominent but yeah I really like it it's like a per um no it's not pearly what am I talking about it's like a peachy goldy kind of color it's quite warm so it probably is like better suited I'd say for kind of warmer skin tones um but I absolutely love it I really like the formula it's really creamy it's really pigmented and I definitely I think I'm going to try and use up all of this and then I'm going to might treat myself to another Becca highlighter I've got my eye on opal I think it is that looks amazing too so next up I have got a eyeshadow palette which I actually bought back in 
last May. Yeah, it was when I went to Vegas last year and I picked this up in a CVS, I think it was. And it is this little palette which is looking very sorry for itself and I probably shouldn't hold it up too much too close to camera because it's literally been like used to death. And it's the Wet n Wild Colour Icon Eyeshadow Palette. I don't really know why I picked this up. It was literally, I think, three, four dollars, which is like a couple of quid. And um, I just thought it looked nice. I thought I'd give it a go. And I tell you what, I'm so glad that I picked it up because this is the most amazing little eyeshadow palette that I think I've ever used, which is like strong praise, but it's true. It's so pigmented. I've literally been using these two brown colours here every single day for the past two, three months. And this is just amazing. It's so pigmented. It was so cheap. And I literally just cannot get my head around how good it is. So if you're going to America anytime soon and you're in the drugstore and you've got a spare like $5, you definitely need to pick one of these up. They did have a few other colours. Last time I went to New York, I did look some up and they didn't have any other colours like fancy. This was the kind of only neutral palette that I liked. So I kind of feel like I need to go back to America to kind of pick this up again because I literally like it so, so much and I'm going to be so sad when it runs out. I think that's a good enough excuse to book a holiday to America by being like, uh... I need to go buy my favourite eyeshadow palette. Next up is a setting spray and it's from NYX or NYX. Do I ever know what the, I don't ever know what the right thing is to say, but it's the Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. And because NYX has recently become a lot more easily available in the UK, you can get it from Boots, you can get it from Feel Unique now, I have decided to kind of try some more things out because it used to be so hard to get hold of it or you'd have to pay like, you know, a load of delivery. But now it's in boots, you can pick it up quite easily, so that's great. I decided to get this spray because um, because I'm wearing quite a lot of full coverage foundations, you have to be careful because put on a little bit too much, a little bit too powder, and you definitely go into a bit cakey. So I find that having a setting spray kind of just helps to kind of settle the cakiness, makes everything look a little bit more natural and dewy and glowy. And um, I just, I've also been having really dry, drab skin recently, so I thought Dewy Finish sounded right up my street, and I absolutely love this. It was a smaller bottle than what I was expecting. I kind of was expecting the same kind of size bottle as the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, which obviously is a lot bigger than this, but it is so, so good. I've been using it every single day. I just really feel like it helps to kind of stop my makeup from going too cakey. It kind of just makes everything look kind of neater and better. It gives my skin a nice dewy glow. I feel like it also helps with how long it makes my makeup last. And I am just a really, really big fan of this. I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing it when it runs out. I'm almost at the bottom. But yeah, this is so, so good. And I definitely would recommend it if you kind of wear quite a lot of fuller coverage foundations and you want something that's not gonna make you look cakey or maybe gonna give you a bit more of kind of like a dewy sheen. So yeah, this has got a definite big thumbs up from me. So the final makeup product that I have is this lip gloss and it's the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker and it's the shade Donut. And I have been using this every single day since I was sent it, probably a good month and a half ago possibly even longer, probably even two months ago. I've been really into glosses this kind of year. I used to be like, I was really into matte lips last year and because my skin has been so dry and it's been a bit drab, I felt like having like my skin looking dry and then a matte lip, it just kind of looked a bit too dry and I kind of just felt I looked like a piece of sandpaper. So I kind of thought maybe it's time to get back into glosses and then this landed on my doorstep and I was like, oh, this is a cute color. So yeah, so there's kind of not much to kind of say about it apart from the fact that I just really, really like it and use it most days. Um, I put it on top of either just my lips or I put it on top of like a nude lip color and it's got slight lip kind of plumping ingredients. I find it for about a couple of minutes, it kind of tingles a little bit. I don't know if it makes my lips look any bigger though. Um, I would like it to, but I don't really know if it does. But I just think it's a nice gloss. I really like the color of it. It's really easy to wear and it's just been my go-to gloss. It's not sticky, it's not gloopy. You put it on and you barely feel like it's on your lips. So yeah, I'm a big, big fan of this. So the final thing I'm gonna talk about is like a body product. It's kind of like a body fragrance product, but yeah. And it's basically the new Body Fantasies Perfume Body Spray. Now, if you have watched my America hauls before, um, I have always bought a like pot, it's not a pot, it's a bottle of Body Fantasy Spray when I've been to America the past couple of times. I found it in a drugstore when I went to Florida and I found this candy floss spray and I was like, oh my god, that's amazing. So I had to buy it and I've still got some now. And then when I went to New York in August, I bought the vanilla spray, which again was, it's just amazing and I love it so, so much. So I was so, so excited when I heard that Body Fantasies was launching into the UK 
They've only released four, which is a bit of a bummer because like my favourite one, Vanilla, hasn't been released, but hopefully they'll release more soon. But my favourite from the four is Twilight Mist, and I'm not really sure because I think this has kind of got like sandalwood and jasmine and stuff like that. I will link down below the blog post where I literally did a big description of all of the sprays. But Twilight Mist is my favourite. I have used well over half of it. I throw it in my handbag and just kind of spray it on myself at many intervals and I just love it. I think it's so nice and light. It's They're so easy to just throw in your handbag or your gym bag. They smell amazing. They don't smell cheap. I don't think they smell young or anything like that at all. And I just think they smell really, really nice and I'm obsessed with this one. Yeah, Twilight Mist is so, so good. I absolutely love it. And that is everything. As I said, I only wanted to show you a few favourites today because I have got a lot of favourites at the moment. I actually have like quite a big blog post of all of my recent makeup favourites, so I will link that um, down below actually so you can go check that out because that kind of has a bigger description of kind of some products that I haven't mentioned. But I really wanted to talk about my ones that are my current faves, that the ones that I will literally shout out about on a rooftop if I was me to because I like them that much. So, yeah. That's about it really, so I'm going to go now, thanks so much for watching, um, have I got anything else to say? Probably not I don't think, I don't think I've got anything else of any value to say to you. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that kind of jazz and um, yeah, I'll see you very soon in my next video, have a nice night, bye!